Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Tyler here, and welcome to episode 4 of our Electron tutorial series. In today's episode, we're going to be covering draggable windows, as well as how to create an icon for our Electron application. So, um, yeah, without further ado, let's, uh, let's get started. First thing we're going to want to do is start up the application and see what we're currently working with. And as you can see, our Electron application's icon is basically just the traditional Electron icon. Also, right now, um, we have this window bar, which is cool and all, but I want to show you how we can have draggable content windows. Similar to Discord when you open it up, how the installer you can just drag around without specifically clicking here. So, uh, yeah, let's get started. So, the first thing we're going to want to do is show how to create an icon. So, I have Google opened up here, and I have Figma opened up because I just have my icon is made in Figma. So here is my icon. As you can see, it is 512 pixels by 512 pixels. And that's a pretty traditional icon size. That are 256 by 256. So I have it here. What I'm going to want to do is export it as a PNG file and export it. It is. So there it is. It's called YouTube-Logo. I'm going to put it on my desktop. And as you can see, that's where it's at. Then I'm going to go to Google and type in icon, uh, no, uh, PNG2 um, ICO. ICO, I can't speak. ICO converter. There we go. Um, there's two places you can use that I've tried at least. There's probably tons more. The first one is cloudconvert.com. Um, I don't like this one necessarily because it only it has a cooldown. So I'm going to use convertio.co. And what you'll see is it allows you to choose a file and do PNG to icon. So I'm going to drag in my YouTube dash logo, open it up. And what you'll see is it's a, we want to go to an icon and then I just hit convert. Now for windows, you want to do icon or ICO files for OSX. You're going to want to do dot ICNS files. So that's about the only difference for this process. Then I'm going to download this file and it is an ICO file. As you can see, it's a ICO file. And I'm just going to change the name to icon and place it. I'm going to copy it right here. Go to my desktop. And then I'm going to go to my Electron Series folder, which is right here. And I'm going to go to Source and just paste it on in there. So here's my icon right there. And then that is all we need to do for the browser. So I'm going to now go back to Visual Studio Code and get this icon, as you can see, here it is, into our application. So the way we do this is, there's two ways. The first way is in the package.json. When we get into future um, episodes and we actually have bundlers and package managers, things like that, usually you can add your icon in there and that's the preferred way. But until then, we're gonna just put it right inside the browser window itself. So what we can do is we can do icon and this is gonna take the path to our icon. And the path to our icon is currently um, path.join, our current directory name, and then we're gonna pass in ico.ico, or it's icon.ico, there we go. And what this will do is it will look in our current directory for the icon file. And what you'll see is that now when we start up the application, you can see we have this red and black icon. Also down on the taskbar, you can see the red and black back icon with the white backgrounds. Um, and that is literally it for icons. Next thing I'm going to want to show you is how to get rid of this weird flicker when we start up the application. So if you notice when I do npm start, watch what happens. See how there's this big pause before the text actually loads in? The reason is because our application isn't fully ready to show the window, but we do it anyway. So the way you can fix this is by simply doing show to false. So by default, this means the application won't show. And as you can see, I hit start, but nothing's happening. So, and what we do to actually show the application is we can do window.on and listen for the event of ready-to-show. And this event um, will fire when the application DOM is fully ready to go and ready to show. So what we can do then is do window.show because it takes a function. We don't have to actually instantiate it. We're just passing in the reference to the callback function. So 
we have that there. And so now when I restart the application, we'll get uh, no flicker. Instead, our app just smoothly comes in there and it looks a lot nicer. Okay, so one of the last things I'm gonna wanna show you in this episode is how we can get a frameless window. Now, frameless windows aren't too complicated. We only need to change um, one other property here. So now that we've hid the menu bar, we also need to hide the frame. So we do frame set to false. And by default, this will give us some behavior we don't necessarily want, but I'll show you just in case you run into this issue. So we get rid of our frame, but you can see we, we still can't drag the application. And in fact, we can't really close it or anything. I mean, we can right click, nothing happens. Left click, and that doesn't help us. We have to come down here to actually close the window. And the way we can fix this, or at least uh, the first part of that, like the dragging, is we can come in here and in the body do something like style and then we can say that we want the dash web kit dash app dash region to be drag and this is a property that specifically affects all of the elements inside this inner uh, parent element so what you'll see is when we do start now we can drag the application but you can see we can only drag it where the actual window is. And you may be wondering, well, how do I, why isn't it letting me drag down here? Well, it's simply because the body is, um, it doesn't take up the full size of the screen yet. So we can also do uh, width is equal to 100 viewport widths and height 100 vh. And what you'll see is that when we restart the application, we can now drag everywhere. And so that might be cool, but what if we want to be able to highlight text? So to wrap up this video, I'm going to show you just in case you actually want to highlight text, um, how you can go about doing that. So what you want to do is you want to set the um, user select to, I think it's true. You're going to want to set it to, yes. So you're going to want to set on the text itself, no drag. So if you don't want to be able to drag this text, because currently if we drag over the text, we, we want to, maybe we want to highlight it instead of drag there. So the way we can fix this is by doing style. And then instead of drag, we just do no dash drag. And what this will do is allow us to um, drag over all of our application except the text um, and that means we don't have to run into that issue. Now, in a future episode, we'll actually make a title bar, but for now, um, since that one's a little bit further off, uh, check out my video on how to create a custom Electron title bar, because currently, um, if you want to close the application, you kind of can't unless you come down here and click close. So that was it for today's episode. I hope you found this useful. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.